We're going to convert the function y equals x squared plus 8x plus 7 to vertex form by partial factoring. The first step is to common factor out the first two terms and we include the leading coefficient in that. So we have x times x plus 8 plus 7. It's easy for us to determine where this parabola intersects the line y equals 7 by simply focusing on these first two, uh, on this first part of the expression, letting it equal 0 and figuring out what x would equal. So x1 would be 0, x2 would be negative 8. We can then determine the axis of symmetry between these two points by adding them and dividing by 2 and we get x equals negative 4. That's the x value of the vertex. We can now take that x value of negative 4 and plug it into the function equation to determine the y value of the vertex. When we plug negative 4 in here, we get um, a y value of negative 9. That means our vertex is at negative 4 comma negative 9. Well, we already know our a value because it's the leading coefficient from the start of the question, the coefficient of x squared, which was 1. So our parabola in vertex form is 1 times x plus 4 quantity squared minus 9. And since we usually wouldn't write that 1, we don't in this case either. And we have our final expression, y equals x plus 4 quantity squared minus 9.